Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. Guys, this time we're in Adobe Illustrator 2021 and I'm going to show you how to create guides, grids, gutters, those types of things guys. And I'm going to show you how to do it very, very quickly. Uh, I will quickly note up front here that a lot of people think that it can't be done or you should just eyeball it inside Illustrator and I believe that to be wrong and I'm going to show you. So let's get going. First step here, load up Illustrator like I have done. Now you want to go to the top here, go to File, click on New, and in this one, we're going to work with some web stuff because this is very, very common for people that create websites uh, or design websites. You want to be working in the web. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and click on 1366 by 768, and I'm also going to make sure that it's set to, okay, we're set to portrait or we're set to horizontal. Okay, we're good. Um, then we hit Create. All right, let's rock and roll. There we go. We've got our uh, artboard here, as you can see, and let's get cracking. The first step, and this is the interesting one, is I want to create a rectangle. Now I'm going to left click on the rectangle tool here, and then I'm going to left click on the artboard. And it's going to go ahead and give me the option to dial in the exact specs that I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch in 1368 by 768 pixels. That's the exact size of the artboard and I'm doing that very, very, uh, for a good reason. So we're gonna create a rectangle the exact size of the artboard. Left click on OK and we've got ourselves a rectangle. The next step here is I'm gonna go ahead and change the color of the fill from white. I'm gonna create, I'm gonna change it to red so that it's really, really visible so that you guys can see 100% what I'm doing. Also, I'm going to take the stroke off of it because it doesn't need a stroke for what we're doing. So again, we've changed the color to fill, and again, that's just for demonstration purposes. Now I'm going to go back to the selection tool, and I'm going to drag and drop it, and I'm basically just going to center it up on the uh, on the artboard here. So something like that. It looks pretty close. Um, it might not be exactly right, but it looks close enough. So. Um, if you're not sure, you can always just left click on the align here in the properties. Just left click, and then I'm going to left click on vertical align center. Oh, it was a little off. And horizontal align center, just to be 100% on target here. Now, the next step is making sure that you're selected on the rectangle. You're going to see here that there's a width and a height. What I like to do is I'm going to create a Border and this is just uh, this can be anything you guys want it to be it could even be zero if you don't want to have any border but I'm gonna go ahead and have a border of 20 pixels on each side so that's a total of 40 pixels so 20 on the left 20 on the right I'm gonna have 20 on the top 20 on the bottom just to demonstrate so instead of 68 I'm gonna drop this down to 28 so I'm chopping off 40 pixels and you'll see that 20 came from the right and 20 came from the left. And I'm going to do that to the top as well. So it's going to go from 768 to 728. It will do the exact same thing. So we've got our nice little rectangle centered in the middle with a 20 pixel border on all the different sides. Again, depending on what your project is, it could be higher, it could be lower, it could be nothing. This is just for demonstration purposes. Now, making sure you're still collect, clicked on the uh, rectangle here. The next step, and it's the critical step, is you go up to Object, and you drop down and you're gonna see somewhere down here, I'm just trying to look where the heck is it, uh, path, go to path, right click over, split into grid. This is the big one. Now, make sure that you've got preview selected so you can see what you're doing while you're doing it. So I'm gonna left click on that preview button. And now, depending on what you're going for, of course, I'm gonna show you columns, like a web developer would be really, really interested in having multiple columns. So watch what I do here. I'm chopping this into, let's say, three columns for the hell of it, and I'm going to add in a gutter. So let's say our gutter is also 20 pixels. So everything's going to be a 20 pixel gutter, 20 pixels on the edge. Again, this could be any number you want it to be. This would be probably what you would want to do if you were doing some web work, but let's say you want to do some rows as well. That's just as easy. Go up. I'm going to select three and three and I'm gonna add gutter in on that of 20 pixels as well. So we've basically created this cool looking grid. Um, and again, if this was a, a web thing, you'd probably not do the rows. But anyways, let's do it this way, just to show the, the technique. I'm gonna left click on okay. 
Now, we got one more step in order to make this work. What you want to do now is we want to take these, these uh, lines here, and we want to take these and turn them into guides. So the way to do that is you go up to the top, you go to View, and down here you're going to see Guides, and you're going to see the option to Make Guides. This is what you want to do. Left click on that. When you do that, you're now going to see that we have guides, and we have gutters, and we've got some margin on the top and the bottom, and more importantly, if I wanted to start creating a rectangle, let's say, I would left click a rectangle, drag it out like this, and you're going to see that it sticks to the guide. So these guides are active, and now if I wanted to, I could just start making shapes or adding in whatever I wanted to, and it will go right guide to guide. So that is all there is to it, guys, in Illustrator. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I've got a ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned. I'll be back soon.